so we feel our breath warm. It shows that if you blow air, exhale the air, the air is warm. So the air you are leaving out of your body, it contains some heat. So it shows that the heat is produced during the process of respiration. So heat is also a form of energy. We already discussed that glucose is converted to energy plus carbon dioxide plus water. So we are not specifying what energy is this. I already told you the glucose is converted to useful form of energy which is utilized by our cells. Our cells require the energy in the form of ATP. But do you think that the whole glucose is totally converted to ATP, carbon dioxide and water? Do you uh, think that the complete energy is harvested in the form of ATP? No. All the energy present in the glucose is not totally harvested into the form of ATP. Certain amount of energy is wasted in the form of heat. So certain amount of energy is released in the form of heat. Some energy is converted to ATP and some energy is released in the form of heat. So in this way the heat is produced in our bodies. We can feel that when uh, in summer season, in winter season, if you cover your body with some uh, woolen sweaters, so you feel that you are not losing heat from your body. Otherwise your body is exposed to cold. You lose, you lose the heat and you get shivering. Your body needs certain heat to maintain your blood circulation and all. So that heat is produced from the respiration and you have to maintain the heat. That is the reason why in winter season we cover our bodies to keep the heat inside not to escape it out. And sometimes you can feel your body so uh, hot and the heat is uh, coming out of your body when you do sternness exercise, running and uh, cycling, jogging. You can find that your breath is faster at the same time lot of heat is produced and you know one more thing when you do exercise in your body the glucose is converted to lactic acid and energy so here with all these examples we can understand that heat is produced during the process of respiration now let us look at the evolution of gaseous exchange system so the evolution of gaseous exchange systems. What is the gaseous exchange system? That is the nothing but the respiratory system. We have lungs. We discussed that the pathway various organs concerned for respiration in human beings. Nose, nostrils, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli. So the alveoli are units of lungs. We have lungs to breathe. But if you observe the different organisms, right from the unicellular organism amoeba to man, we can find different different types of respiratory systems. This is a gradual evolution, progress in the complexity and its working and its structure. Now let us, if you observe the unicellular organism like an amoeba, it has, it has only one cell. It is a single cell animal. How does it get oxygen? It don't have any lungs or respiratory organs. It is not having any systems because the organism itself a single cell how does it get it gets the oxygen from the atmosphere that is from the water in which it live the oxygen directly diffuses into its cell by a process called as diffusion you studied about this diffusion process in ninth class in the lesson cell cell membrane or plasma membrane there you studied how the diffusion of gases and materials takes place through the cell, uh, cell membrane. So here the cell has got cell membrane in which the oxygen is diffused directly. They, do, they don't need any system. Not only amoeba, amoeba, hydra, hydra, planaria, planarians, many of the unicellular and smaller organisms they get the oxygen directly diffused into their bodies. If you observe insects like cockroaches, grasshoppers and ants, if, the, if, you, if you observe these kind of arthropods or insects, if you observe a cockroach, cockroach it has got 
some pipe-like networks for the process of gaseous exchange, which is called as tracheal system. They have got some pipes in their bodies and the air enters these pipes directly and these pipes are supplied into the various muscles of their body through which the air enters into the various muscles through these pipes. There the exchange of gases between muscles and air takes place by diffusion. So tracheal system is observed in insects like cockroaches, grasshoppers, ants and so on. So that kind of respiration or uh, uh, exchange system is observed. If you look at little higher animals like fishes, if you see the fishes, If you observe the fish, the fish has got a mouth cavity. The fish, it has to get the oxygen from the water. So how does it get? What is the exchange system in fishes? So the water, it flows into the mouth of the fish. You might have observed that fishes, they open and close their mouth. You might have observed a fish in an aquarium. It opens and closes its mouth to draw the water into its mouth. So as the fish, it draws the water into its mouth, the water enters into the oral cavity of the fish. So now the fish, it lowers the, it raises the bottom oral cavity. So when it closes the mouth, the water is pushed into the pharynx. From where the water is passed through the gills, which are present on both sides of its head. So gills are red color organs, which are richly supplied with blood. So when the water is pushed through the gills, the gills are richly supplied with blood vessels. And when the water is crossing the gills, exchange of gases takes place between the water and gills. After exchange, the water is sent out. This kind of respiration is called as branchial respiration. branchial respiration. So the next one, we have seen diffusion, tracheal system, branchial system. The other higher animals are reptiles like snakes, lizards and tortoises and uh, other animals like mammals, birds, all these higher animals, they have lungs to breathe air. Lungs. We call this system, uh, the, we call this respiratory system as pulmonary, pulmonary respiratory system. In which the lungs are the organs for the exchange of gases. Lungs are observed in all the higher animals. So in unicellular and very small animals, we find the process of diffusion for exchange of glass. And in insects, we find the tracheal system. And in uh, fishes, we see the branchial respiratory system. And in other higher animals, we see the pulmonary system. In some cases, like frogs, they have a moist skin. Frogs and salamanders, they have moist skin in which they can exchange the gases through their moist skin. So the air comes in contact with their moist skin, there the exchange of gases takes place. So there is moist skin, we call this as cutaneous respiration, the respiration through skin. So these are the various ways how different animals exchange the gases.